All right, we turn now to the Trump campaign, where the former president on his way to Pennsylvania after holding a press conference earlier today at his Mar-a-Lago resort, vowing to fix the border if he is elected. They're rough, tough weapons. We're going to get them out of here. We're going to get them out fast. A Trump really focusing on the swing states this final week, where he now has a slight lead in the polls in all seven states. News Nation's Robert Sherman is following the campaign, joins us live from Allentown, Pennsylvania, where the former president will be holding a rally later tonight. Robert, what is the former president's message for Pennsylvania voters? Yeah, I mean, Nicole, in many cases, the message is a rather short and sweet one, is, is that his position is, is that there are a lot of things that are currently broken in the country, and he's promising better days will come if he's elected. And you see the crowd sizes out here in Allentown. I mean, for hours, there's been enthusiasm building up here. There's people here in Pennsylvania very well of the fact that they are a battleground state and that they are at the heart of the political conversation. And that message of a better days for tomorrow has been resonating with people on the ground here. And that's a message that we anticipate the former president will continue to hone in on, focusing on the economy, focusing on immigration, focusing on crime, and promising improvement over the next four years. Take a listen. We stand on the verge of the four greatest years in American history. With your help from now until Election Day, we will restore America's promise and we will take back the nation that we love. And the Trump campaign is hoping that message is enough to get them across the finish line, particularly here in Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes up for grabs. You see how close it is in the latest decision desk HQ average of polls. But that is a big part of the reason that you have seen the Trump campaign really focusing on Pennsylvania over the last few weeks and months just because of how vital it is to get to that magic number of 270. Nicole. Yeah, so Robert, so much focus on Pennsylvania. But again, we are now in the final week. Which states, in addition to Pennsylvania, is the former president focusing on? That's going to be an aggressive campaign schedule from now until the finish line. You see the former president is going to be in Wisconsin and North Carolina tomorrow. Thursday, he'll be out west, but I want to bring your attention to a stop that was just added to the calendar in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And that's not the only one on this list that catches your eye. Saturday, he'll be in Salem, Virginia. Those are two states that are not on the traditional battleground seven list. Those are states that have long believed to be leaning towards Vice President Kamala Harris and not in play, with the Trump campaign trying to expand the map and go on offense here in the home stretch. Nicole. All right, Robert Sherman live for us there in Pennsylvania. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.